द टू लैंडमार्क्स डिस्कवरी ऑफ सेल बायोलॉजी द फर्स्ट वन वार रोबर्ट होके एंड द सेकेंड वार एंटोनी ल्यूवन हॉक नॉ द क्वेश्चन हु डिस्कवर्ड सेल द क्वेश्चन इज रॉबर्ट होके एंड वट टाइप ऑफ सेल ही डिस्कवर्ड ओनली डेड सेल कॉर्क सेल हैविंग ए बॉक्स लाइक स्ट्रक्चर इन द कॉर्क He was first to observe box-like structure to whom he called cell. After nine years, in 1774, Antony Leeuwenhoek Hogg was the first scientist to discover the living cell. And your question, who discovered living cell? ठीक है, either RBC or a sperm or a protozoa like that. And your answer is Antony Leeuwenhoek Hogg. Okay. Now today we are going to discuss about cell theory. Just After 165 years, ठीक है 165 कितना लंबा समय लगा सेल थ्री तक आने के लिए यहां से यहां तक आने में ठीक हाउ टू जस्ट स्टडी सेल थ्यूरी दैट आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू टूडे सेल थ्यूरी वॉज ए हाइपोथेसिस बिकॉज इट वॉज नॉट ए साइंटिफिकली प्रूव सो नाउ यू सी दैट दिस सेल थ्यूरी वॉज गिवेन बाई द टू मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बायोलॉजिस्ट एंड द फर्स्ट वन इज थियोडोर श्वान एंड एम जे स्लाइडन ठीक वन ऑफ दैम इज ब्रिटिश साइंटिस्ट एंड अदर वन जर्मन बॉटनिस्ट ओके दीज आर द टू साइंटिस्ट हु डिस्कवर्ड सेल थ्यूरी नाउ वट इज सेल थ्यूरी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सेल थ्यूरी इज रिलेटेड टू योर सेल एंड इट हैज द टू मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट द फर्स्ट वन इज ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म कंपोज ऑफ वन सेल यूनिसेलर लाइफ और मल्टी सेलर मेड ऑफ मेनी टाइप ऑफ सेल ठीक either they are plant or animal so in a brief we can say that all the living being are composed of cell or many cell and their products and their product and the second component of cell theory is cells are the basic structure and functional unit of the life as i yesterday told you without structure life is not possible if the structure is there then the function is also there okay these are the two most important tenets of the cell theory but the next question this theory yeah this hypothesis was not in position to explain what is the process of formation of new cell or you can say how the new cells are formed so this theory we were failed to explain how new cells are formed they could say because both of them now you see british geologist theodore schwann who discovered who studied different types of the cells in the animal various types of the animal and he just study the components of the body that they are made of the cell and while you are sliding he study the many types of different cell in the plant body ठीक because these are all the very very important the difference between two that in these all types of cells in the animal there was no cell wall but it was for the first time sliding who discovered that cells also possess cell wall okay so this is the small introduction about the cell theory in a very brief what is cell theory cell theory is a hypothesis related to the cell discovery and it has got two component either made up of organism or the structure functional unit now the second part is your after these two scientists thick and thick these two scientists one number one robert hook and two is antony gibbon and third is your sliden and fourth one is shawn these are the four scientists now the fifth member comes in action that is the rudolf virchow okay as i told you that they did not know how the cells are formed and to answer this it took 100 to 16 year kitne 16 year in 1839 cell theory was proposed and after 16 year it was the rudolf virchow who for the first time explained how the cells are ya yeah, how the new cells are formed okay omnicellular a cellular this dictum was given by rudolf virchow now what do you mean by omnicellular a cellular is a question cells divide and form new cell from the pre existing cell if the cell is there only then the new cell will be formed without a parent cell you cannot imagine the formation of a new cell this was a very very important aspect of the discovery of the cell theory after pre existing cell okay and he was the first person to modify the schleiden and schwann cell theory to have a new approach that cells arise from the pre existing cell only okay thank you very much this is it